she is probably the kindest person I've ever met. Um, she's compassionate. One of the things that always stood out to me is she has an innate ability to connect with everybody she meets from the child, regardless of the age, the resource parents. Um, the one that's always stood out to me the most is her ability to connect to the biological parents. Um, even when no one else seems to be able to get them to call them back or to interact with them, um, she's always found a way to talk to them, to get them to, you know, communicate with her. And she just has a ability to make people feel safe when they're around her. It's been about 13 or 14 years since I became a CASA. I uh, actually became a foster parent first in 2003 with my husband. And um, our daughter, who we eventually did adopt, she was our first foster placement. Uh, she had a CASA advocate. And we had actually never even heard of the program until that time. And her CASA advocate really inspired me to get involved after my, da my daughter was adopted. So it just seemed like the perfect way for me to continue being of service once we closed our home to new children. I really think it is more of a collective, um, like smaller experiences that just month by month, you stick with it and you realize that the, the collection of all of your efforts really are making an impact. Of course, there's been a few times where I've said, you know, wow, I've made a difference today. I've had a few victories in court, or I've, I've had a breakthrough with a child, or maybe some good communication with a, a DCPNP worker, um, you know, that, that made progress in a case. But I, I think if I look back on my service history with these kids, um, more than just a defining moment, it would be uh, some, some of the cases take a year or two or three. I've had one now for over three years. Um, and can I look back and say I did one thing to help this child? I would think, um, no, I, I think I did many small things. <laughs> Um, she also makes her own pottery, which for 13 years she's donated any of the sales from that um, to CASA. She has also donated pottery that she's made to multiple CASA fundraisers um, throughout well, pretty much every year. Um, and again, doesn't matter when the request comes in, she always finds a way to get it done. She hand delivers it. Um, she has attended numerous budget hearings. Um, she's spoken at many CASA events from, you know, our own fundraisers. Um, and she's also spoken for CASA of New Jersey too at some of their events. Um, again, you name it. If you ask her to do something, she'll do it. And even if you don't, she's always offering, you know, asking, what can I do to help? What else can I do? Um, she's, she's amazing. Oh, the staff has meant so much to me. The support they provide, of course, obviously has been outstanding. I know I can lean on my supervisor, Beth, in a heartbeat if I need anything with CASA or personally. Like, I know she's there for me. Um, I, I've met so many other great people through the program. Tracy, the director, obviously, I mean, the, they're all like-minded people. I've made some really strong friendships and, and I, lasting friendships with great quality people. So uh, I just can't say enough about the organization and, and the people that, you know, become advocates because they're there for the same reasons that I, you know, what was there. And, and that's to be helpful, um, to be kind, to be supportive to these families and children we work with. And obviously you're gonna have a great cool, crew, uh, pool of people if that's your goal, right? So having that shared goal, I think it tracks just the best of the best. And, and CASA has been just amazing and wonderful and I'm gonna miss it so much. Obviously, North Carolina is more than lucky to have you. Um, like I said, you've been the poster child for CASA and the mission of CASA for 13 years. The 26 kids that you've at, she's advocated for um, are better because of her. They, not just the children, but as I said, the resource parents she supported, the biological parents, um, everyone she's worked with, but most importantly, the children um, who she's given a voice to 
and 26 is a lot of children. Obviously, we will miss you at Casa Shaw, but we're so happy for you as you start this next chapter of your life. Um, and I guess for me personally, I want to say thank you for making my job so much easier for 13 years. Um, and I'm lucky to call you my friend. It's so bittersweet to be leaving. Um... But I, I actually did get trained in the state that I'm moving to, and I already have a case there. And so I have had a glimpse of their program. Um, so naturally I've been able to compare a little bit and I have to say Casa Shaw trained me very well. Um, they prepared me for this work um, extremely well in so many areas. And actually, the, I think that the program is really paving the way. It's, it's leaps and bounds, I think, ahead of, of where I'm going. <laughs> so it's going to give me some tools to also bring to them and hopefully um, improve that program as well. So again, not, not a complaint at all. Nothing but good things to say about Casa Shaw. Always remember, you can change a child's story.